Welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. Uh, I'm your the shiny. host, uh, Miss Shiny. That's uh, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, I call you Miss Shiny today. So we are going to actually be doing a return of sorts. We're reviewing the Romeo Juliet Capulet 75th anniversary. Excuse me. Now, I want to talk about that. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When I was talking to a guy to buy a box of uh, Capulet, we were Montague's, told these were a totally different blend. Yes, but it isn't. It's just a different Vitola and Toro. But guys. we called up after ordering it, talked to somebody, and they said, no, that's the same blend. We just have it at a discounted price and a different Vitola with a different wrapper. Did you um, so that, keep uh, the box at your place? Yeah, I think so. Because the box says 75th anniversary, meaning it's famous as Smoke Shop. Yeah, it, it's just in celebration of famous Smoke Shop 75th anniversary. And it's just a special Vitola and band from Romeo Juliet Capulet. Exactly. Or so. Montague. So it's the same blend. Do not get tricked into thinking that it's different. However, these are cheaper. So no, if you like sit there and say, Ooh, I want to try these and those, you're going to be getting the same thing, just different sizes. So it's a special limited edition Vitola and Toro size. We That's decided to take a return to these. I believe this is the one that we got to try in Magnum, which was a 6x60. Six yes, and I was thinking of buying a Magnum 6x60. Six my birthday's next month, so I got a lot of discussions to figure so out what I'm I removed this section that says Capulet, 75th anniversary. In fact, I think the other band is a little nicer. However, I think with this one, the clear part is nicer on this. So, you're having a problem there. No, Do you sorry. need help? There you go. I think you got it, didn't you? No, it's glued on. Heat did it. Oh, okay, I got it. There you go. Let's move that back a bit. And there. So, in a way, this is just our second review of this. In Toro size, see? Creamy buttery is what I picked up. It's got some decent crunch to it. Uh, it's not too dry, not too squishy. It's squishier at the uh, uh, foot here, but it's okay. Th this works. Um, Sorry about that, everyone. My email app's open, and so, um, you know, talk about it, email for a minute, uh, cigar related. Our cigar-related video channel for uh, buying, uh, uh, you know, not buying cigars, but uh, having people contact us for suggestions, comments, whatever, oh. on a private email. Well, the other day I thought we got a new email, and it was like, oh, someone wants us to do something. Turns out it was some spam, spam, spam crap. Any, anyways, I'd like to share the rest of the cigar and, with you, but uh, Rita's checking up uh, other things. Uh, spam crack, basically, about uh, uh, setting up a website again. So yes. I put it in the spam folder, so, finally. It's got some mild hay notes on this, and I did find that when I was cutting this, I don't know if it's my uh, the V-cutter is getting a little dull or not, but it kind of tore on both of these. Uh, it could just be that the cigar is soft enough that it caught because uh, it seems to work better with a nice hard cigar. Um, but, yeah. Um, as for the smell, it's kind of light, light hay, and that's about the only thing. And if you can see, I can't see. How can I say anything if I can't see? Okay. You can see that you can see the seam there and some of the stems. Um, but it's a decent looking cigar. Uh, it's kind of a light, lightish brown. Uh, I do not have the specs on this because we already did the specs in our other video. So if you want to see the specs, go check out our original video for the Romeo Y. Julieta uh, House of Capulet. Um, because I just don't see any reason to keep going over the same info again and again. Um, I really don't know what you're doing. We're trying to do a video here. You could do that after or whatever. 
Sorry, it's checking. I, I know on. you're checking to see if it shipped and when it shipped and all that it stuff. It got shipped. The thing says three business days. And I'm sitting select. on my knees here. This hurts. Three days select, so three business day delivery by the end of the day. So yeah. more likely Monday or Monday. It'll be here next week. Yes. Well, I'm just, just like mine will be here next week sometime. Yes, well. In fact, anyway. they both probably ship today. So, anyways, would you do your same thing and all that? Um, it's a sharp a little jar, uh, I would say, hey, earth notes. Nice grass. sweetness on a dry puff with a little bitterness. I'm going to have to sit down. Ch uh, light chocolate, cocoa. Uh. <sighs> Floral tasting at the end. But I'll guarantee, since I smoked many of these, that you know, what we're going to have is creamy butteriness in the flavor of said Yeah, but we'll do it live. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. I've been looking forward to smoking another one of these for quite a while. Um, but Rita wanted to try to save the review for when we're running out of reviews. And we're beginning to. we got, I think, three reviews left that aren't, you know, solos or whatever. And you got like three solos. I got like eight solos or something. So, uh, but yeah, he'll I, be doing his eight solos after uh, he gets more cigars next month, so we can actually get joint. Do I'll joint do them night. just to make sure that they go through. We can always do an Aaron and a Rita version, which we've done in the past. Actually, I got five of the solos. Yeah, because you got the Reckoning, you got the two Perdomos, you've got uh, uh, the uh, Maximus. Right away on this, I, I don't remember this in the past, but kind of a beefy steak-like flavor, uh, which is kind of nice. Never really had that in a cigar before. And then it kind of transitions a little straight to leather <laughs> with some creaminess. Definitely some creaminess. It's kind Tastes of tastes like my my Mrs. Lamb Chops. I just missed those lamb chops. What she did. I think she did a Greek style. You said they were in a tomato sauce base. So no, sort of, fresh tomatoes diced up, stacked yes, on top. I know Not that. tomato sauce in general. She never did tomato sauce. Mm. And I already know that this is a fantastic cigar. So. Um, really looking Pretty forward to this. Butteriness, now like this is something odd I've never seen. If you could see there, there's like a green line or a black line that just all of a sudden appeared after lighting this. I have never seen something like that happen before. Looks like somebody took a marker and went with it. Have you ever seen that before? Mm -mm. It's, uh, it's not even on a seam. That's weird. It's definitely weird. I, I've i never seen that. Maybe it's mold. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm kidding. If God man. wants you to die, he'll let you die. At least I'm going out with like a cigar. Yeah, but you'll probably not want to be freaking going to heaven if there is no cigars. Do. I saw a guy the other day who was walking along the side of a lake... He was getting ready to smoke a cigar, and the wind ripped it out of his hand and blew it into the lake. And I'm sitting there thinking, God does things in mysterious ways. Maybe that cigar would have made him really, really sick. And God said, no, you're not smoking that. I'm protecting you. And instead, he's like, oh, how horrible. I lost my cigar. It could have been for a reason. Well, he does do things mysterious. Now, I've never had a cigar honestly make me sick from smoking it. Although it almost happened earlier today. Uh, if you saw my review, I'll give a brief update. The Esteban Carreras 10 Anos. I'm just finishing it up. I've got it to the nub point. In fact, here it is. And as I'm smoking it down on this side, I'm writing into the text on my... Uh, uh, on YouTube for the tags and all that, and I nearly vomited from the aftertaste in my mouth. Uh, I honestly got to say, or reword it, that the Carreras was not 
as good as I would have liked. It definitely... I told Rita, you're lucky you didn't smoke it, because she saw it, and she's like, Ooh, I want to smoke that. And she was trying to get me to give it to her, and I'm like, No, I'm smoking that. I was that. trying to get, get con you out of your beer. Mm -hmm. You're always trying to con me out of something, you con artist. Do, boy, do you still have your beer? Mm -hmm. I won't drink it in front of you because I don't want you getting jealous of it, so I'm waiting to drink it one of these no, nights. No, one of these nights I'm going to his place. i got plenty of coke. And I'm going to be drinking some Weisers. You're finally going to crack that after like 30 years of it being sitting in the bottle. I don't know. Look promising to me. Hmm, <laughs> this is nice and tasty. And I usually don't like Romeo and Juliet's, but when I had this, I put it above every other Romeo I have ever tried. The Capulet, in my opinion, was better than the Montague. Now, recently I had the Romeo Anejo, and this is the first Capulet I've had afterwards. But that Anejo was in my top three right behind the Montague. In fact, it might have been a little higher than the Montague and a little lower than the Capulet, and I'll know for sure after this. But, you know, I'm kind of getting more into the RYJs now. My friend Josh told me that he got an RYJ the other day, and he couldn't make it through it. He made it through like halfway before it started making him dizzy and nauseous. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I've never had that happen from an RYJ, but I'm, he said he hadn't smoked for a while, so it could have just been a nicotine rush. Exactly, exactly. Nice smoke output on this. Nice creamy flavors. Um, primary, primary flavor is just a creaminess, and I like that little bit of leather mixed in, but you have to have some flavor in cream or otherwise it's just, you know, cream. <laughs> so. I suppose we'll get into the halfway point of this, shall we? Yes. All right, we will be right back. Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to the halfway point of this Romeo Juliet Capulet 75th anniversary from Famous Smoke Shop. Uh, different Vitola, same old blend, uh, and uh, I'm going to basically say it's creamy and toasty. It's the two, a combination of the two flavors with a decent uh, long finish and uh, very enjoyable. I agree with uh, Eric. Creamy, toastiness, good long finish, nice ash, burns a long time. I highly, highly uh, like this cigar, and uh, I can't say enough bad about it no. because it's all good. It is slightly wonky, but not too bad. I mean, I've had issues the entire way with it being burning faster on one side than the other. But I gave my cousin one of these, and he said it was a good cigar, too. So, anyway, shall we uh, wait to the final? Sure, why not? All right, let's wait for See the final. See you in a second. Hello, and welcome back to the final third of this Romeo Y. Juliet House of Capulet 75th Anniversary, which is the exact same blend as the Romeo Juliet House of Capulet. Although Famous will not exactly tell you that in the description, uh, they are the same blend. And this is more creamy toastiness, uh, very pleasing, slight spice coming on in the final third, a uh, very tasty little cigar, uh, quite appealing to me. Um, mild and mellow, uh, not too terribly full-bodied with a good finish. Uh, definitely recommend the Romeo Juliet House of Capulets, and uh, the 75th anniversary is slightly cheaper. Uh, it's like six dollars a box cheaper. Yeah, well, it was like seventy-three based on. I paid uh, eighty-six or eighty-one box. to ninety-three. It, it's, and ninety-two dollars was the magnums. Yeah, so it's not really all that big of a deal, but you know, you pay different prices for different patolas as it is. So I still recommend. Uh, I agree with Aaron. There is some creamy toastiness. I believe the final third, the spice is actually Lajero. I also want to say it is good with uh, Starbucks coffee. That's what I'm drinking, by the way, the Pike's Place uh, brew. Um, 
So as Aaron just said, that's what I found out when I called because I was thinking of placing a order for some more. And for the, the guy basically said the Montagues and the Capulets are the same. It's just a different Vitola. Well, were, this one you were going to end up doing the Montague uh, 75th, the Montagues, and the Capulets. When you found out that these were just Capulets. With just, you, a, with just a cigar box, the guy said, with 75th anniversary So there was payments. no need to buy three boxes so that you had a little of each. When you already had one box that was already two of them, so. Well, it's like the rumor is going on. I don't know if it's true or not. I'll have Aaron look into it. But some say it's the same blend. Others say it's a different blend. But you have the Altatus version of the Monte Cristo Estoque, which is uh, the um, Monte Cristo... Um, Espada. Espada. You have the Espada, and then you have the Estoque, and... Is yeah, we've, no, we found out very clearly that the Estoke is a different blend. The, you've forgotten this. However, our B&M guy told us it was just a different Vitola. We found out that it is a full new blend. It's So I want to try it. We actually avoided it because our B&M guy said that they were the same blend, just different Vitola. I didn't, think, more I didn't think they were, but... Yeah, at the price, I didn't want to double up on something that we'd already smoked, so uh, I decided against it. Anyways, uh, however, this would be something. Um, in uh, our video on the flathead, but our viewer, uh, Danny, decided to mention that he'd had the black label flatheads. And I was like, ooh, a black label flathead? I know that there's a tan label flathead. That's a new one. Oh, how confused I was. As I find out that their 4.5 by 50 is a green label. Their uh, Robusto size, which is a 5.5 by 50, uh, is a black label. The Lancero, which is uh, like a 6.5 by 44, is a blue label. And then the 7x70 and 6x60 are both red label. Then I found out that there's the Steel Horse because I got talking to uh, Mike Crowley, uh, who ended up posting a comment about the Steel Horse. Uh, <coughs> the motorcycle one. Um, I forgot. Uh, the Ape Hanger. And uh, he said there's some bigger ones, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I found out that the Steel Horse, uh, which is their new one, comes in four different colors as well. You have a tan label, which is the one that I noticed. And then there's the ape hanger. I think that's the tan one, actually. And then you have a kind of teal-colored label, a yellowish-colored label, and then a red-colored label. Or no, it was a silver-colored, not yellowish. So you got four different ones there. And, I mean, that's all confusing because it's like, oh, have you tried the flathead black, uh, flathead black label? And you're like, well, I don't know. The only flatheads I've smoked are red labels. So now you think that there's a new blend. And no, it's the same blend, just different Vitola. Uh, that can kind of get kind of confusing when they change the labels up. Just like this, which Famous basically says is a new blend, but it's not. It's the same old blend. Yep. So with that said, please add and subscribe. Please post comments, leave feedback, suggestion. If you agree or disagree, please let us know. Just keep it nice is all we ask. Mm -hmm. And enjoy every, every puff. puff.